Let's look at question 10. A part 1 now. It says a transformation T is defined by the matrix T equals 2, negative 1, 2, 0. The point A, negative 2, 3, is mapped on to the point A prime at A, B on the T. Find the value of A and of B. Okay. Now you have a transformation here and a point and it is mapped onto another point. The thing to do here is to multiply the matrix that represents the transformation by the matrix that represents the point. Alright? So, what you're going to have happen here is that we have 2, negative 1, 2, 0 will multiply A, which is negative 2, 3. And notice, negative 2 at the top, 3 at the bottom. You know that in this way, this is coordinates, is x comma y in the brackets, and the column matrix is x, y, like this. Alright? So we're going to multiply those now. You have this matrix multiplied by this one. And remember, you would not be able to multiply them the other way around if you had negative 2, 3 on the left. So it has to be in this format. Now remember, when multiplying the matrices, you're going to have a row. You, you have row times column. Now, it's first element in the row times first element in the column plus second element in the row times second element in the column. So in this way, you have row 1 multiplied by, well, I was going to say column 1, but there's only one column here. So it's just the column. Row 1 times the column plus row 2 times the column. Now what are you going to have in the answer? First element, which is 2 times the first element here, plus second element times second element. So first element in the row times first element in the column, plus second element in the row times second element in the column. You multiply first by first, plus second by second. So it's going to be 2 times negative 2, and that gives negative 4, plus negative 1 times 3 which is negative 3 and then down here is row 2 and the column so it's row 2 times the column first elements multiplied first element in row 2 is 2 times this element 2 times negative 2 and that gives negative 4 plus Second elements, second element in row 2 is 0, times the second element in the column 3, 0 times 3 is 0. So what do you end up with here now? Negative 4 plus negative 3. Well, it's the same as negative 4 minus 3. So it's a negative 7. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. Alright? Now this matrix is in the form... A, B. So at the top you have A has 7. At the bottom B has negative 4. So in this case you have A is equal to negative 7. B is negative 4. So let me just jot it down here. A is negative 7. You have negative 7 and negative 4 for B. 